Hey guys, Luke here, and uh, hopefully I synced that up right. But uh, this is another episode of the Dream Team Tour. Now I've got a little bit of explaining to do. Um, so I just re I just did this episode, and this is the um, Super League in the NRL. So players who predominantly played Super League or as, as much as I could find to like fit the side in, um, and they're in the NRL right now. Um, so I'm not talking about people who've played there in the past and are back in Super League or anything. The current Super NRL players who've played in Super League. But, like I said, I just played this episode. I uh, went down 13-12, so it's another loss. And uh, it's, 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 I swear it's a coincidence that uh, the two games I've lost I've had to redo. So, obviously, unaware that the very first episode I had to redo. I um, can't even remember why at this stage. Something went wrong. I think I think I might have stuffed the teams up, or uh, I I can't remember to be honest. Um, but yeah, I redid it. Um, and then this one I've just like I'm literally just finished it like two minutes before um, two minutes ago at the time of recording this. And uh, what happened was I was rendering a, a video uh, with my normal um, with my normal. Far out, what's it called? Not a USB, um, portable hard drive, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, a big hit from Tonkins on Casty. Wow. Um, yeah, my portable hard drive, um, have all my files on that and um, got my editing stuff on there and all that sort of stuff. So I was rendering a video and then uploading it and shit. And um, I decided, why not make some videos? So I got a USB, but it was only a 4 gigabyte one. And I did one episode beforehand. All went good, all that. Um, which is obviously the episode you saw before this, and then did did one in between. Um, did the next one, which was this one, and halfway through it, ran out of space, so had to stop it then. And then I copied that off, got all the space in there, recorded the end of it. It was all good. Then I went to go move that that file onto my other um the like last five minutes or four minutes or something, the ending of it, and um, it just disappeared off the USB as I was copying it. And then, like, I can't get it back, and I looked on Google quickly um, how to get it back, and it doesn't look like you can, so that sucks. But it's probably an omen because I think the episode kind of did suck. Just the, the little stoppages, and then, like, I forgot what, what I was talking about um, from the stoppage. So, yeah. But enough of that shit. Let's get into the, the proper video. Um, so, obviously, we're doing Super League, uh, predominantly Super League players. Uh oh, here's a try. Oh, there we go, Sam Tompkins coming across, and he's also in this side. Um, yeah, Super League, like I said, Super League players who are playing in the NRL right now. I keep repeating myself, this is shit so far. Um, but make sure you leave a like. That'd be awesome. And subscribe. Um, so we're going to go through the team as a whole. Uh, so we got Sam Tompkins, Keith Lulia. Oh, he's at intercept. And we didn't go out to. Uh, Corey Patterson, Jamie Lyon, Pat Richards, Jamie Sauer, Daniel Holdsworth. Let's try and score here. Um, James Graham, Thomas Lulawai. George Burgess, I'm trying to think who else was there. Um, Mark Cooper, Remy Cassie, Sam Burgess. We've got Tom and Luke Burgess, Lee Mossop. Oh, this would be a sick try if it pull it off. We don't pull it off. Too much on it. Uh, yeah, Lee Mossop and Greg Eastwood is the side. So we'll go through it a little bit. Um, what plays did, team did they play at when they were in the Super League? Now, I don't know for sure if this is the only team that they've played for. But this is, um, I know they play for this team at least at some stage. So we've got Tompkins at Wigan, Lulia at Bradford, Patterson at Hull KR. We've got Pat Richards at Wigan, Jamie Lyons at St. Helens. Soward at London Broncos, Holdsworth, Hull FC. Um, James Graham is at St. Helens. Uh, Lula Wyatt was at Wigan. Um, George Burgess, or all the Burgess lads at Bradford, apart from Luke, who was at Leeds, I think. Um... Mark Cooper was at Warrington. Um, we have Remy Cassidy, who is at Catalans. Obviously, he's the French dude. I'm um, at the Roosters. Let's try and score here. Oh, I thought Guerra's through there. And then we got uh, Lee Mossop, who was at Wigan. And we got Eastwood, uh, who played at Leeds. Now, the reason for Eastwood being in there is because I was running out of players. I had Ryan Hoffman penciled in at second row because I forgot about Remy Cassidy. So if there's anybody who are, I'm forgetting, because chances are I'm forgetting someone of note pretty, like, for example, like I said, I had Ryan Hoffman in the second row, and then I remembered, oh, Remy Cassie's playing for the Roosters. Holy shit, it's fended off two people. Uh, funnily enough, like, all the tries came from intercepts um, in the team, in the 
the loss that I had on playing. What happened was, um, went into Golden Point from all all like the the shitty things. It's forward pass. No, it's not. I guess the English. I think it was forward pass, but because we got it, they didn't worry about it. Come on, James Graham. I was hoping for a shoulder barge then. So I want to make sure we actually win this game. I think after losing it, I saw that we're unbeaten, unbeaten so far. Um, doing this, which I'm not sure if we are or not. I don't know if the dude's watched all the episodes. I hope he has. Because that'd be kind of cool just because, you know, they've watched all of them. But I'm not backing them. I mean, it's hard people to watch off. Oh, my God. What a pass. Get to it, Roger. Big Sammy. Oh, he's pulling away. He's pulling away. Is that Keith Lear? Oh, no. Number three. Is Corey, Corey Patterson? Um, he will not catch him. He's a forward playing center. Now, I went, we'll go over, go over the players. So I've kind of, I've done this before, so I oh know that was Lilia. So yeah, that's the reason why I couldn't catch him. So we have Tompkins, who was from uh, Wigan. Set Warriors, obviously. And I think he's been pretty good this year. Um, obviously, he was a superstar in the Super League. Come over to NRL. He's not, I wouldn't say he's that much of a superstar. Um, in terms of like the media all over him, but I think that has a lot to do with his, him being English and also playing in New Zealand. I'm sure Warriors fans like him, I don't know. But he did get rid of Kevin Locke who, you know, I have a feeling Kevin Locke might have been their golden boy. Um, yeah. and then Pat Richards was, an, Pat Richards, there's a few of these guys who, you know, weren't doing very well in the NRL. Or, you know, they weren't really doing too much in the NRL and they went over and made a name for themselves in the Super League. So, um, players like Pat Richards and um, Jamie Lyon to an extent. He, obviously, he was, you know, dominating in the NRL at the time. But he went over um, in the peak of his career, really. Uh, left the Eels. I can't remember exactly, but I think he walked out on them. I'm not sure why, but he did. Maybe sort of Sonny Bill style from what I heard. Um, maybe not quite as bad, but that sort of stuff where he sort of just... Just left mid. I don't know if it was mid season or what, but yeah, I think Eels fans really don't like him, and I think he copped it big time when he came back. But I suppose that was always going to happen. Like if Sonny Bill, Sonny Bill copped it when he came back, so uh, Jamie Lyon was going to get it as well. Although it, I'm probably talking out of my ass, really. Um, yeah, so Jamie Lyon went over. I can't remember if there's anybody others. Maybe Thomas Lulai went over in his peak. Obviously, the Burgess lads started off there. Most people started off there, really. It's just a few of these lads who are fillers in the side, really, because there's not that many English slash French people who um, are over in Australia. Although, we've got young Curtis, Kurt Norton, I think is what his name is. Um, he's playing under 20s. I think there's a few under 20s players in there. Um, I think there were some ones from the Titans as well who were playing under 20s. I don't know if they're gone now. They, they're probably gone now. Um, but yeah. And I think there was also some people at the Warriors who were um, coming over from Leeds. So, you know, it, it's good to see some Super League players coming over and testing themselves. Um, one thing that's worth noting is I'd say James Graham has uh, been the most successful sort of British, well, sorry, not British, like Super League export. Like, I know Sam Burgess is probably regarded as being the best, but Sam Burgess kind of made his name in the NRL, I would say, where um, James Graham played, like, so many seasons in the Super League, and he's come across and destroyed the NRL, too. Sam Burgess, I don't think he played that many that many um, Super League seasons. He's probably played more NRL than Super League, I'd say. I mean, I could be wrong there, too, because I think he came in when he was, like, 17 or something. Leave in the comments, what, what's the story of Sam Burgess? Um, but yeah, his other brothers have all started in the NRL. Actually, no, that's wrong. Only George has. I saw that Luke. Obviously, he's he's the oldest one. Came in, played at um, London Hurricanes. I think. I think they're now the Broncos, from memory. And then um, went to Leeds. I think. And he's the only one who um, didn't play at Bradford. I think it was Bradford. Yeah, pretty pretty certain it's Bradford. Um, Sam obviously being there. Uh, also, George didn't play. He didn't play first grade with them. Um, it's kind of funny that Tom did, but yet George was the one who has played so many more um, first grade games for the Rabbitohs. Um, so yeah, I think that, that's kind of funny. I think they both came over at the same time too, but George kind of... Actually, no, they didn't. I think they came over one year later. Um, but George kind of did the same sort of thing. He played reserve grade the first year and then all of a sudden just 
became a brick shit house and just started tearing up the NRL last year. Um, so maybe Tom's going to do the same thing. I know he's playing a bit of first grade now. I'm um, playing in the grand final on Sunday, uh, Australian time. I'm not sure what that is. Um, England time, maybe Monday, Saturday. Saturday for them, I think. Probably Saturday morning. I don't know. Or Sunday, Sunday morning. I don't know. That's, that's up for you UK fans to, you know, find out. I don't have a time converter with me. I've got a really itchy nose right now, but I'm going to try and persevere with that. Good offload there. And now we can scratch. Uh, yeah, so Remy Casti, probably the biggest fail out of the... Well, it's hard to say they've failed because he, he's tried. That, that, that's the main thing. Because um, there's a lot of people you say, like, like James Roby, like all those guys. I'm like, oh, that... It would have been cool if they came out and tried it, but it doesn't look like Johnson. tried the NRL. It doesn't look like they're going to, because you know I hear how good James Roby is all the time from Super League fans, but they won't leave. And I thought Tompkins going to be the same thing. He's come out. Um, Remy Cassie's done the same thing. I wouldn't say he's some high-profile guy, but you know he's come out and he's sort of like Mike Cooper. Um, I don't think they're superstars of uh, superstars of the Super League, but they've come out and they've had a go. Um, Cassidy wasn't very successful, he didn't play that many first grade games, but he was at the Roosters too, like, they have a really strong forward pack, probably if he was at the Sharks or something, he would have been more successful, and also, I don't know how good his English is, so that could be a problem too, because he did, he is French and did play at a French side, so, I don't know, but you think Trent Robinson, being a former Catalans coach of him, would have known that, um, yeah, so, I haven't really got too much to talk about, hopefully we can maintain this lead, um, it's kind of, an, oh, Tompkins, yeah, hopefully we can just, yeah, maintain this lead, because um, if it goes to extra time, I've got nothing to talk about. It was just kind of strange, because I just talked about it in, like, five minutes, or, oh, like, a few minutes previous before I started this one. I'm going to seal it here. Sam Burgess. Um, it's going to be 12-0. 12 12-0 victory. So, uh, I'm going to start wrapping things up. Hopefully, you enjoyed the episode enough. I know it's not probably the best video, but I think the team itself was a good one, and... Obviously, the team's pretty good if it beat me in the previous set for the Unseen Files. Um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed it. You can leave a like, subscribe to the channel, all that good shit. And um, the next video I'll be doing, I think, is going to be the NRL plays in the Super League. So it should be interesting. And leave in the comments if there's anybody that I missed, because like, likely, in all likeliness, there is. Um, well, some massive miss that I made, but like, I've got Sam Tompkins, but for example, we'll I've got Sam Tompkins or something. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.